uh, James the Window Cleaner. Uh, this video gives uh, a little bit of detail on demo units, which are the huge, great big tool banners that uh, you're going to see in this video. Uh, they were constructed and designed in Maastricht uh, by a non-profit open source project called Demotech. Uh, their website is at Demotech. Org. You can also research demounits.net for how you can make your own. And remember, wherever you are in the world, however much pressure you come under from the authorities, they can't evict an idea. Okay, it's Tuesday, uh, November the 29th, 2011. Uh, I'm up in the N30 Ideas room of uh, Bank of Ideas. Uh, we're currently uh, dressing the demo units with flash banners and uh, we've had a number of volunteers come up helping. It's uh, really good to see because plenty of progress is being made. I'm just going to do a little pan around the uh, room now. So we've got people building a mini demo unit there. I also want to add about like, how great I think it is that so many people are volunteering. Nobody's being paid for this. Everybody's working on a completely voluntary basis. And uh, they're all working so hard trying to make sure that this happens. see a mixture of uh, both sexes, it's males, females, black, white, brown, purple, orange, green, purple with pink spots, uh, everybody's all together because uh, we all have a, a common goal, uh, a shared ideal, a, sh a shared vision. Um, some of us uh, really believe that we can help make this happen and people are taking an active role in trying to make change happen, being the change that they wish to see. Can you jump out the vehicle for me, please? Anybody get in the car? Yeah, anybody get in the car? Hello. No, thank you. Right. Hi. How are you? I'm just, uh, I'm just recording numbers, just for my own protection. Make sure, okay. make sure legal procedure is uh, right. followed properly. Van's open. I'm, fil oh, I'm filming him. Come on. Put it away for a minute. No, no, I'm not putting it away. Okay, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I think. Is that alright with you guys? Yeah. He's saying that his tyre is bald. It is not. That is on the legal minimum tread there. Yeah. That is what that mark is for. No, I'm not sure about that. Well, why don't you get a mixture out then? I'm going to. 1.6. My name is James Aubrey. A L B U R Y. So, can you explain what the reason why I've been stopped? And uh, also that anyone who's come out today. Is Sir, okay. And I was just saying, I'm going to have a look around your car as well, yeah, fine. van. Fine. Right. The going to take your details. Okay. And then you're going to search, right? Okay. Okay. Any questions? Not at this point. Okay. Okay. Give me that. Yeah. Okay, so you're checking it. Yes, because uh, I've got an adrenaline rush. Because you guys are making me anxious. You're pulling my van to pieces, like uh, as if I'm committing some sort of offence. This is the sort of thing that you reserve for terrorists, isn't it? it? No, I know you didn't say, but isn't this the kind of like check that you reserve for terrorists? It is way beyond the normal uh, kind of procedure that I've had whenever I've been stopped in my van before for any reason by a police officer. I can't account for what you've been done before. 
I'm not doing anything wrong. If there's any tremble in my hands, it is because this is an adrenaline situation. We all know that there's going to be a protest today. It's November the 30th, 2011. I'm carrying bannering and signage for a peaceful, non-violent protest. How tall are you, sir? Sorry. I'd leave that to you to judge. And how do you see yourself on this, uh, on this form? I decline to answer that question. Yeah, well, I'm I appreciate that it is borderline on the minimum tread depth. Right. However, my understanding is that this mark on the tyre is for a specific reason. It's to mark 1.6 millimetres, and I can clearly feel a bit I of a dip. measure it for you. Like that. Okay, why not? not? Fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like it measured. But it's two thirds of the circumference. Okay. okay. So, was last time you checked your tyres? Uh, well, actually, I checked them about a week ago, and I was aware that it needed changing. I just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. It's on one. Okay. About 1.6. So two thirds of your tyre is below one millimetre. Okay. Do you have any points in your licence at the moment? No, clean. Alright. Uh, the van is in, you would have to agree, good order otherwise. I've got MOT, I've got insurance, I know you'll check out all that. I've got a licence. Um, and what I could do is, if you're unhappy with it, I could, I'm sure I've got enough tread depth on the spare, I could probably whip that on. Just keep back, I don't mind you filming me. Okay. Just keep, I was just filming your number, that's all. Miserable. There's nothing really wrong with your van, to be honest. Um, no, I, I, no, I do keep it in good order. I use it for work, so I, I have to keep it maintained. You want me to change it now? There's no point you changing it now because it just it just wants to serve a purpose. But i uh, well within the rights to be three points to sixty pound five flat because it is below the legal limit. It's not horrendous. There's no cord. I can see there's a little bit left in the in the, in the actual train. I have to be honest. I was just with money being so tight these days. I was just trying to get every last mile that I could out of it. I was well aware that it needed changing. I was actually intending to yeah, do it fine. within the next week. But um, I appreciate you have your job to do and. I'm going to give you a verbal warning for your tyre. Okay. If it's seen again, I'm not going to do it today, I'm not going to see you drive around. <laughs> okay, alright. If it's seen in the next 24 hours by myself or another traffic officer, you, you, you're fair game for three points. No, no, I, I just wanted to, asked. yeah, I just wanted to, I looked at my bag, my laptop was gone, so I was oh, just no, like, no, oh, where's no, my laptop gone, that's, that's all. Standard, big in when we do stop. Big in, what, what's your destination today? Are you taking stuff away? Or? I'm just popping stuff down to St Paul's, this is being delivered down to uh, St Paul's churchyard, ready for bannering and signage for, for the events of today. What's the, what's that? No, I have to do it. What's what, sorry? These things are tubing. Oh, right, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. The tubing is because we uh, clip the signing onto the bamboo, <laughs> And it just goes on. Sorry, I've not got enough space to put that one on, but I go ahead. against the bamboo, that spreads. Yeah, there's no uh, exact match in those details. And it just to clip the signage to the bamboo, basically. Perfect, Megan. Can I just run one more through, over? Sure. Cheers for that. Section 6 is anticipated any sort of violence or anything kind of like that, you know what I mean? So, like demonstrations, they've been violent in the past, haven't they? Yeah. So the anticipation that I could be violent. So what looks like I'm violent to them? Well, yeah, an aggressive person. Yeah, we were just walking along the street, coming out of a building. Why would that well, class be violent? Well, one of your jobs. You to do it. You yeah, I know that you're do doing your jobs. I know yeah. you're doing your jobs. So I just wonder if any of you will get home when you're back with your families and think about whether we do actually live in a free country or not. Because like section 60 is this, that, the other, to me it's just stopping people from going about their normal, lawful daily business. We're fighting for your pensions too. I'd say that they're obviously doing a very thorough check on me because I've never had my licence retained for that long before. I think it's probably a deliberate delaying tactic because they know that I've got signage which is for part of a peaceful, non-violent protest. <laughs> Maybe the people at the other end do.
Uh, I'm just recording for my own record here. I have been stopped in my vehicle before and I've handed over my licence and I've had it back in my hand within two minutes. This video has been running continuously for 22 minutes now and I've never had my licence held on to for that long before so they're obviously carrying out uh, some further checks on me. Um, fortunately I know that I'm a decent law abiding citizen <laughs> so I have nothing to fear. May I ask um, what the reason is for the further delay in me being allowed to go on my way? Uh, we're just trying to get the correct channel to do the checks. <laughs> what, so your radios aren't working? No, yeah, they're working. The correct channel to do the checks, what does that mean? If the radio's working, what channel is preventing you from allowing me on my way? Because I've got the timer on here and this video is now 24 minutes long, so 24 minutes I've been detained. I can see no reason for any further delay. We're satisfied that everything's done correctly yep. doing that. We're just waiting for the oh yeah please do do things correctly because otherwise it might bite so, you later uh, not me <laughs> that's why we're doing it properly isn't okay it? but uh, well, i'm that's why we're doing it i'm becoming okay. slightly distressed that i'm oh, being I'm held held that. back for that's near well cracking on for 25 minutes now for it, it, it appears to me it could be construed as one might look at it as a deliberate delaying tactic to no, no, uh, he's just waiting to speak to the operator on the yeah, channel but, just to confirm that what I'm saying is true. Yeah. Um, I've never known it to take this long before whenever I've been stopped in my vehicle. Never. Been, been and done in five, ten minutes. It's always the first time. I heard the words over the radio, known for, and then he turned the radio down for the next bit. Not today. I'm on strike. Strike. Private sector. Private sector worker on strike. But as I'm my boss, the boss is on strike. Wages. Yeah, indeed I do. You gonna complain to your boss as well? <laughs> no, I'm gonna just bring it to yeah, the attention of a wider public that somebody can be carrying her out like their perfectly lawful business and be tamed for cracking on for half an hour now. Mr. Warbury, yes. Here's your driving license and your stop slip. Thank you. Sorry about the wait. I know it's not your fault. I don't blame any of you individually. I blame the system. It's corrupt to the core. So am I free to go? Yes, you are, yes. Thank you. You coming? Yeah. Okay, managed to uh, get through the police uh, issue earlier. Uh, the time is now... Uh, 20 to 11, we're on the steps of St Paul's. There is a banner reading, all power to the 99%. And uh, as you can see, demo units are well under construction on the steps of St. Paul's. Okay, uh, the demo units are now being constructed outside the front of St. Paul's, um, but unbelievably, uh, the flash bannering uh, the painted banners got forgotten. Uh, so we're in such a rush to get out this morning. Uh, oversight, not blaming anyone. Uh, we know where they are, they're back at Bank of Ideas. So I'm running from St. Paul's back to uh, Bank of Ideas now in order to pick them up and then run all the way back with them. Okay, after running like a maniac, back at St. Paul's, the time is now just coming up for quarter past 12 and we've managed to get a few demo units up in the air. Rand of Entian, if you're watching, you're seeing people demonstrate in London using your demo units. We've got more to come. Can I ask, just ask you, does that feel heavy? No. All power to the ninety nine per cent. Yeah, it's bringing traffic in London pretty much to a standstill. What a powerful image.
all power to the 99%, up and down and left and right. Sorry. See, those are called demo units. We work on an entirely voluntary funded basis, it's just volunteers. Would anybody be willing to donate to help us make some more? They're also used as tents which can be used in the third world and in disaster zones because you tip them on their side, they're a perfect tent. Anybody willing to donate is much appreciated, thank you. Thank you so much sir, thank you. March is continuing down now, I'll film it as it comes past. I think at some point we're going to try and join all the separate groups up. There's about five or six different marches. This is a fairly significant size though. There's got to be a few thousand people involved here. From the bottom, carry on the joins, please. All the joins are supported, it's not a problem to have a person in the middle. <laughs> uh, pretty incredible scene as the demo units come through, uh, come through town. I'm just going to turn around, the light might be a bit strong down there. People, as far as the eye can see. Okay, it's impossible for me to tell the exact numbers here, but it's uh, a very, very great number. I can see that there's people all the way around. Uh, inside there is a inside there is a square, and all the way around the uh, other side of it, I can see uh, banners and people. Makes things all the way up there. And haven't done a full 360 degrees now. And the demo units are up and looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, the, uh, we're just on Aldwych now, and uh, the demo units are getting a tremendous response. Uh, people are stopping to take pictures, uh, and they look absolutely fantastic. Okay. Alright, hey, say hello. I'm not afraid to show my face. Say hello to Randy. Randy, uh... I just spoke with him on the phone. Brilliant. He's absolutely died. He's, uh, he's going to be watching on the live stream very yes, soon. Randy. Yes, Randy. Yes. Let's change the world. <laughs> First of many, many, many more to come. First of many more. Demo tech demo units. Yeah, no, I will. Yeah, it's 
it's worth me uh, just showing the uh, dogs here. Uh, they're trained deliberately to bark to intimidate people, and there they are. <laughs> There's absolutely no need for them to be barking. They're trained by their handlers to bark like that to intimidate people. <laughs> And this is London, 30th of November 2011. Looks incredible. Okay, we've got uh, two demo units which are separated off from the public sector march uh, in order to start uh, Occupy's own action at Piccadilly Circus, but unfortunately because the area was sealed off, uh, we weren't able to get the units through, so uh, I'm now carrying uh, this one and uh, the one just behind us uh, back to St Paul's. Oh, yeah. As we were carrying them back, we've just noticed some, some professionals, so we decided to... Uh, set up our bannering as their background. I was going to say, you realise you're upside down guys. <laughs> That's it, give it a pull. <laughs> Turn it around so yeah, so you can see a side. Uh, we are occupying the Royal Courts of Justice. Okay, uh, we managed to get in the background of their uh, live shot for a little bit, so every little bit helps. Uh, the time is uh, now half past three. <laughs> and uh, well, we're now headed uh, back to St Paul's as originally planned. That was very random. I should mention that uh, this here marks one of the borders of the uh, City of London. Marks a border between City of London and Greater London. And uh, that's as we head into Fleet Street. Uh, for anybody not familiar with the uh, City of London, uh, all their borders have all these cameras set up and have these little booth boxes which policemen sometimes stand in and stop people. And I noticed somebody's written Occupy in the uh, Dustin one. Just uh, a nice amusing little extra. Well, it amused me anyway. <laughs> As you can probably tell, we're uh, just got back to St Paul's. Uh, time now is uh, 10 to 4. Uh, received a warm reception when we got back. Uh, the musician playing there that was at the start of the video, he decided to do one more number for us. Uh, 
Uh, all in all, an extremely exhausting two, three weeks for me. Uh, I'm probably going to have to have a day or two off now, uh, get myself a uh, bath, washed, shaved, um, have a night in a decent bed, something like that. <coughs> Uh, we were rushing right up to the absolute last minute, but I do think it's worth it. I think we did make an impact today. Uh, everybody that spoke to me was hugely impressed with the demo units. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping that maybe we can get some sponsorship for them or something, uh, maybe from the unions, because uh, I think that they were the most visible, most striking messages on the day. Uh, and everybody that I spoke with um, seemed to back that up. Uh, so, yeah, I was uh, working up and through till 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this morning I was up at seven I've had no breakfast nothing to eat except this apple which I've grabbed just now all day uh, I'm absolutely exhausted so I'm gonna sign off here thank you very much for watching this video um, please like rate share comment etc I'd love to have your feedback and uh, I want to see the concept of demo units go global and uh, you that are watching this you can help be part of that tell your friends about it about how spectacular they were and link them to the video uh, and uh, yeah hopefully we can really get this idea to take off because it's uh, been shown to work in practice extremely well I think thank you